Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use loops in Python. And I'm going to show you how you can use a while loop and for loop in Python. So these are two kinds of loop in Python you can uh, use uh, to iterate some values. So first of all, uh, let's uh, see what is a loop. A loop is a piece of code which help you to iterate or to you know repeat a piece of code again and again without rewriting the same piece of code again and again so loop as the name suggests is a piece of code which will help you to uh, you know write or implement some piece of code again and again unless and until some condition is true so let's see how a while loop work in uh, python first so for example i have uh, a variable called a which is equal to 0 and so let's see how while uh, loop declaration uh, works so for declaring a while loop you just need to write while and then the condition comes uh, which needs to be true if you want to go out of the loop so for example i want that if a is less than 5 then i want to implement this okay so once again i forgot the colon here yeah, my loop has this colon okay so i want that if a is less than 5 i want to loop uh, the value of a okay so i want to print a okay and because this condition is uh, you know never be true if i don't uh, increment the value of a so i'm going to increment the value of a like this so a plus equal to one this is same as writing uh, for example uh, a is equal to a plus one this is same as uh, this one but you can sh write this in short like this right and i will just execute this while loop and the result is 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay so you ha you haven't printed this uh, 0 to 4 uh, integers uh, you know you just have written this one line of code to print all these numbers so while loop or loop help you to uh, you know implement a piece of code or again and again right so what happens here you have we have already declared a is equal to zero and then your code goes here and it sees it's a while loop and it checks this condition a is less than five because a is zero and zero is less than five so it will print uh this zero value here once again it goes to a while loop once again and because i was increasing it by one now value of a becomes one so a is one which is less than five so it will print one here with this code and it will increment a once again and now a is two and two is less than five so once again it will print two and same is for three but as soon as uh, 5 comes here and 5 is not less than 5 then it will not print 5 because this condition is false now so it will go out of the loop so this in this way this while loop uh, works now let's see some real life uh, example or uh, some uh, practical example of while loop so for example i have this example where I have a is equal to 0 and s is equal to uh, or a is equal to 1 and s is, s is equal to 0 and I'm telling the user to enter some value okay so enter number to add to the sum okay and enter 0 to quit okay so I'm uh, telling user to enter some value so that I can make the sum or otherwise if you want to quit just uh, enter 0 and then I I'm checking whether a is 
equal to 0. If a is not equal to 0, then I am going to uh, take this uh, value of s and then I am asking the user to enter a number and then I will add this uh, number to my sum. s stands for sum and a stands for a number and then I will print the sum like this. Okay. So this is a little example which is more practical in uh, real life uh, situations and I will run this and now it will run. So I am asking enter the number to add to the sum. If you enter 0 you will be quit or you will quit the, uh, uh, quit the program and current sum is 0. So for example I enter 300. Okay. And now current sum becomes 300. Okay. And for example, I enter minus uh, 2 or 340. Then current sum becomes 40. Okay. So it will go on keeping the sum or making the sum plus 80. So it will add to this 80 once again and then. For example, 120, it will add 120 to the sum. So this code will help us to make a sum of numbers which user will enter. But as soon as I enter 0, you see here, uh, then the while loop is no more valid because this condition becomes false and then a uh, uh, user will exit. So when I press 0, the sum is 160, which is true, and while loop is ended, and condition is false, and I'm, uh, I'm out of the loop. Okay? So, in this way, you can use while loops. Now, there is one more kind of loop in uh, Python, uh, which are called for loop. And, for example, I have a list called b is equal to... In the list, I have 2, 4, 5, some numbers. Okay. So I'm, I'm just taking some uh, random numbers here. And for example, I want to print all these numbers in the list, but one by one. Okay. So what I can do, I can use a for loop. And for loop, how I can declare? With just this for, and then I will declare a variable which will hold the value of these elements one by one okay so for example a new m this is defined by me okay and what this does is this will hold the value of uh, elements in the list one by one and then write in this in operator i have shown you how it works in the last video if you don't know and then just write b which is our list which contains these values okay and then what i am going to do once again i forgot this colon i somehow i keep on forgetting this colon and then i will print num because this num holds the value well holds uh, the list value one by one okay and i will just execute it and you see my print function prints the values in the list one by one by one right so in this way you can use for loop and while loop and both of the loop you can use interchangeably so it's uh, you know you, both loop works uh, in the same way but the while loop the, the difference is in between while loop and for loop is why when you are using while loop it uh, you know uh, it waits for the condition to be true and it will keep on executing your code while your condition is true right and if condition is false it, it will go out of the loop and for loop there is no uh, you know condition it will just list out the you know values you give here 
okay so i hope you have understood the concept of uh, loops in python and i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now